Okay, so in this short video, I'm just going to show you how to log into your Google Apps account for the first time. The first thing you need to do is you need to just go to the Google homepage, and when you go to Google, you will see that there is a sign in box just up here in the top right hand corner. Now, when we click on that, you have the opportunity to put in your email address and your password. Now, your email address will be whatever we have created it to be. Generally speaking, we make them first name dot last name at whatever your school's URL or web address is. So for this test account, we've just made this uh, test dot account. So first name would be test, second name would be account. At And then I'm putting my address in here. And then the password is whatever we have sent you the password to be. Now we create that account, uh, that password for you, but you get to change it in the next screen. So we've put in our first name dot last name at your web address just here. We've typed in the password we've sent you, and we click sign in. Now when you get to the sign in, you'll see that there's some terms of service and uh, a few things that you can read here if you would like. But just down underneath, we can type in I accept. Sometimes, depending on how often you set up accounts, which in most cases is not very often, but sometimes you need to just drop in uh, one of these little verification codes. But what you're looking for is the I accept continue to my account. Now as soon as you click on this, we get taken to a page where we can put in the old password again, and we can type in a new password. Now when you're doing this, just be aware that your new password needs to be eight characters long. And if you can have a combination of letters and numbers and symbols and capital letters, um, the more of those combinations you can put in there, the stronger your password will be. So I've just put in a new password. I'm just going to click Submit. And now that old password is irrelevant. It's only got the new password that you have. So next time you come to your Google account, you'll type in your email address that's associated with your Google Apps account. You'll type in your new password and it will work. You know that you've logged in successfully because your email address will be displayed up here. And then you have access to mail and drive and calendar and sites and all the things uh, that you can use, all the tools that are available to you with a Google account. So I hope that makes it really easy for you to understand and follow. And if you've got any questions, by all means, just send us an email and we will get right back to you. Thanks for watching.